Frau Badenabendblatt? Ja, unser von Abendblatt. See, have you got ten pfennigs? Too bad, but I have no change. Just a minute. Here, here's a mark. Thank you. Here, Mutter, keep that change. Please don't crowd. One at a time. Anything wrong with my ticket? Wait a moment. I just checked with the owner of it's here. Uh, when is the next train to Nuremberg, Father? Your orders? I don't know if the track to Nuremberg is repaired. Wait a minute. Sure it is. There's a train at 9.30. Woody, Nuremberg all right? Yes, they just finished working on the track. Guess you were right. I usually am, Frau, and come on track seven. The night is shorter when you have someone to talk to. I hope you don't mind, but uh, I've been meaning to ask you. Where did you get all your money? What money? <laughs> that fat roll you carry in your pocket. I just got back pay for three months. Besides, it isn't very much. <laughs> well, I really don't care how much it is. As long as you'll kindly agree to uh, loan me. Let's say half of it. Now let me explain it to you. I'm simply in need of cash and I'm perfectly willing to let you profit by it. Here. Take your choice. Where else in our country could you get a better deal? Paper for gold. The fat stomach this used to go around, I assure you, is much thinner now. But maybe this. This is a better investment for a young man like you. It comes from a good marriage. I think they had been together... Yeah, 25 years. How about it? No, oh, thanks. I don't plan to get married. Well, that's up to you. But if you change your mind, remember you'll be helping a friend. Who knows, maybe someday you'll need one. I think we better get some sleep now. You know, sometimes I envy you fellows at the front. At least you can save your money. Me, I spend all mine here. On trains or buses, or at best on my motorcycle. Heinz Scholz, special courier of the waffen -SS. Some title, eh? But money? No. Well, happy dreams, copper. Say, look who's coming. Hey, Heinz, what happened to you? I haven't seen you and your tin horse for quite a while. Just back from a trip east, but as you see, it didn't take long for them to get me on the road again. I'm on my way to Würzburg now. Well, if it isn't the corporal. Do you know him? Know him? Why, he's a good friend of mine. Anything wrong? No, nothing serious. I'll let you through this time. This man with Corporal Schultz can pass. Thanks, I'll be back tomorrow. See, sometimes it's good to have a friend. Where are you going? I'm trying to get to Kreil somewhere tonight. Well, if you don't mind a little detour, I'll give you a ride. Come on. I'll be right back. Just have to make a pick up at the Commandant Tour. How can? How can? Can I have 10 liters? Certainly, sir. There's always some for you. Have some friends here? I thought I had. Well, I know a good place where we can spend the night. Right near Kreilsheim. It's a little out of the way, but it's worth it. I need some, Frau I need I know, I know. I tell you, there's no more room. Is Frau Kollwitz across the alley? There's nothing she can do about it. Come on. One of the few places left in Germany where a soldier can get a clean bed and a bottle of wine. 
That is, if he has money. Or if he has a friend, so we'll pay for him. <laughs> That's right. Hey, it's Fritzy around. Fritzy? Yeah, I just saw her. Say, don't they know you? You? <laughs> I can't quite remember. Liar. <laughs> is Fritzy in the office? Uh, yeah, there. Take care of my friend here. I'll be right back. It's Anything close. important? This uh, no, nothing important. Well, Hilda, I haven't seen you since Leipzig. They certainly move you people around. Fritzy, this is Copper. Say, what is your name? Steiner, Karl Steiner. My name is Scholz, and this is Fritzy Kollwitz. <laughs> Everything's fine. We have a room across the street, and thanks to Fritzy, plenty of food. And now, what's most important? How about something decent to drink? It's not that easy anymore, Hans, huh? But I'll see what I can do. <laughs> we were lucky to run into each other, weren't we, Carl? You've got money, and I know how to spend it. Pardon me, but if you still like to dance... Oh, you're not as slow as I thought. I hope you don't think you are doing me a favor. I only changed my mind, that's all. But you better hurry up, or there won't be much left. But you learned to dance. In a school, in Potsdam. Haven't you danced since? Come on, Corporal, I won't break. Is that better? Well, isn't it? Coming, Hilda? I'll be right there. Pretty, huh? Lost her leg a year ago in Breslau. Are you with the show? Yes. Soldatenvarieté. Well, it's still better than the labor front. Not much better. Maybe I'm not what you're looking for. Maybe a sweet young man like you would rather have someone your own age. Aren't you? Now, don't be generous. If you'd seen me a couple of years ago, why, in 42 in the summer, there was an Italian major in Milano. He wanted to marry me. Here, Fritzi has found something special. A real Steinig, 80%. Just try it, Hilde. Don't let anybody touch that. How about you? No, thank you. What? Enjoy yourself while you can, soldier. It may not happen to us again. We may all go. All at once. Fast. May I have one of your cigarettes? Well, even if we do, we've had a good time, haven't we? We've given the world 12 years that we'll never forget. And no matter what they do, they'll never get us out of their system. There will be a little song which was composed by our soldiers when they were stationed in Paris. Bosch again now. But I remember Paris in 41, that first summer. <laughs> Do you know Paris, Carl? No. The only part of France I've seen was Alsace. Alsace? Yes, I was there with my outfit a few months ago. No two German things of Alsace as a part of France. It's as German as Rhineland or the Saar. I only thought of it as France because I remember we took it from the French. We didn't take it. We took it back. We took what belonged to us and maybe more. And we did it and we'll do it again. Heinz, Heinz, please. You're right, Fritz, you're right. You see what a good influence women are on men. Oh, sometimes, not always. <laughs> I think I better get some sleep. I have to get up very early. Sure, go ahead, Copper. The woman at the desk will show you through your room.